Gallo for Garnacho! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Have you ever witnessed someone explode onto the scene like Alejandro Garnacho? And then Ronaldo! Oh! What a oh! goal by Cristiano Ronaldo! Right, how could we forget about a club legend? You know, there are a bunch of similarities between the two wingers, and it looks like a lot of Cristiano Ronaldo's skill set and mentality was soaked up by the United Wonder Kid. Surely, spending time with Leo Messi while on duty for the Argentinian national team has had a huge impact on him as well. But his playing style and coming through at Manchester United has put him on a similar path to the Portuguese legend. Is Alejandro Garnacho destined to be one of the greats in the game, or are we just seeing flashes of a potential talent? We'll take a look at some of the ways he approaches the game, and whether it's just pure hype, or if Garnacho can be as good as Cristiano Ronaldo. But to really answer that question, we must start from the beginning. Let's kick it off. Alejandro Garnacho was born in Madrid to a Spanish father and an Argentinian mother. He ended up at Atletico Madrid's academy, which has had a close relationship with Argentinian football through their long-term manager Diego Simeone. During Alejandro's time living in Madrid, a certain Cristiano Ronaldo was becoming the greatest goalscorer in the world next door at the Bernabeu. Sure, the connection to Argentina should have made him a Messi fan, and it is hard to support your crosstown rivals, but he was close by and became enamored with his future teammate's dominance. Garnacho wanted to be him so bad, but to be like Cristiano, he would need to learn from the best, just as his former mentor did. So he decided on a move to the Premier League. However, this did not come without some controversy. Due to Brexit, the rules for purchasing 16-year-old talents from the European continent were about to change for Premier League teams in 2020. Garnacho followed fellow Madrid-based player Alvaro Fernandez to Old Trafford in a rush ahead of the rule changes. The two players from Spain bolstered an already impressive youth team for Man United as they appeared occasionally down the left-hand side together. Less than a year after he joined the club, Man United made the shock signing of club legend and all-time great Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo late in the 2021 summer transfer window. The instability at the club at the time meant that Cristiano only played 12 games under manager Ole Gunnar Soska before he was sacked. With Ralph Ranić now in charge, Alejandro was given his first chance to watch Cristiano Ronaldo in action from the bench versus Norwich. This must have left its mark on the youngster as he watched his idol score three trademark goals, a deadly poacher strike after a turnover for the first and a majestic leap for a header from a corner. But Manchester United's shaky defense saw them let in two second-half goals from the visitors, tying the game. In true Ronaldo fashion, this only made him more focused to take back the lead. He scored a stunning free kick that crashed in off the post to complete his 60th career hat-trick and secure the win for a struggling United side in front of the Old Trafford faithful and an onlooking Alejandro Garnacho. Starting the 2022-2023 season saw Garnacho and Ronaldo sharing the pitch on a more regular basis. The first opportunity to get in game instructions came in a tough Europa League fixture at home to Real Sociedad. Garnacho got 20 minutes in a frustrating match for the Red Devils, as Ronaldo also failed to score in a 1-0 loss. The one time they shared the pitch in the league also came in an away loss, this time to Aston Villa. But this was Garnacho's first start, and despite the loss, fans were buzzing about his talent. Most of the work between the two seems to have been done off the pitch, as Ronaldo mentioned supporting and mentoring Alejandro, especially in terms of professionalism and game preparation. This surely rubbed off even through the turbulence on and off the pitch for Ronaldo. Despite all the issues at the club, Garnacho kept his head down and focused on convincing the staff that he was ready for more minutes. With his natural position being occupied by local legend Marcus Rashford and players like Anthony Alanga, Jadon Sancho, Anthony Martial and Mason Greenwood all fighting for minutes, the road looked tough for playing time. Then combine that with manager Eric Ten Hag bringing in his ex Ajax winger Anthony on a mega deal, and it really began to feel like game time would be extremely difficult to come by. But Garnacho didn't let any of that get him down. He made the most of his opportunities and became known as a crucial contributor off the bench. This is a mirror of the legendary Cristiano's mentality, as he was always ready to change the game at any point throughout the game. But it wasn't always pretty. Issues similar to Cristiano's early struggles at United started to come to the fore for Garnacho as well. Unpredictability in supplying strikers, dribbling into trouble and not supporting fullbacks frustrated fans and his teammates alike. 
It didn't take long to iron out these issues though, as rapid improvements in these areas for Alejandro seemed to come directly from Cristiano, as they were often seen chatting on the bench. But picture this, Alejandro finally getting his chance to emulate his idol in an away game versus Fulham. Ronaldo was absent with illness and the game was tied at 1-1 going into injury time. The situation was similar to a fixture from 2007, which many United fans remember as the breakout game for CR7. In that game, Ronaldo took the team on his back and forced his way through the right side of the Fulham defence to score the winner in the 88th minute. Garnacho decided to add a little extra drama and wait till the 94th minute to pick up the ball on the same wing, play a 1-2 with Christian Eriksen and slide in the winner at Craven Cottage to mark his first ever senior goal for Manchester United. The fans knew that he was something special. Even with all the similarities, there are some slight differences to their game. As a righty, starting on the left wing meant Garnacho's role in the team was slightly different to Cristiano Ronaldo's early period at United. Also, Cristiano's first season was 20 years earlier. Football was slightly different back then, as teams often had two forwards to provide for, instead of false nines and the attacking fullbacks of today. The main difference between the two wingers at this age clearly stood out. Cristiano was a lot more expressive in terms of individual skills. Ronaldo was a dribbler, always looking to make the defenders look foolish. Ronaldo only really became the deadly goalscorer in his third full season, where he gradually faded out the isolating dribbling that destroyed the best defenders in the world. Garnacho, like his countryman Leo Messi, has barely brought any of that flair dribbling into his game. It's almost like Alejandro tries to take the minimum amount of touches to shoot or provide an assist, unlike Cristiano at that age. Ronaldo's patience and positional discipline grew as he matured, which seems to be fast-tracked over to Garnacho due to his time under Cristiano's tutorship. Conservative depth at the halfway line means both players receive the ball without fullback pressure, which helped them both turn and run at defenders regularly. Turning to maintain possession or waiting for overlaps demonstrates extra maturity instead of forcing attacks. This part of the game is an element of counter-attacking where you take advantage of the pace, direct style and physical strengths, which has always been a focal point of Manchester United attacks. In the possession phase, moving infield and attacking the back post are the other ways Cristiano Ronaldo and Garnacho are similar. One-twos on the corner of the box lead to more shots and cutting in the box for Garnacho, while Cristiano's interplay usually led to more crossing and cutback opportunities. Attacking the back post was more of a danger due to Cristiano's size, but Garnacho broke the internet with his perfectly executed overhead bicycle kick versus Everton. Dalo stood the ball up to the back post where Alejandro rose up as the stadium went silent. United fans saw flashes of Ronaldo and Rooney as he flew through the air, his boots striking the ball behind him, flinging it over his head and into the upper corner of the goal, leaving the keeper rooted to his spot. The audacity and confidence to pull that off was an indication of the lad's mentality. As Ronaldo has become one of the greatest goalscorers of all time with the adjustments he made over his career, it's a scary prospect to think what Garnacho has picked up. The Argentinian international seems to have been passed down the secrets to Cristiano's transformation on the pitch, as well as the elite tricks and habits off the pitch that made him such an efficient machine. At around 20 years old, they both seem very similar in terms of production and consistency. Alejandro is almost undroppable despite the hundreds of millions Man United spent on wingers in his time at the club. More successful clubs could come knocking for his services, which would lessen the crossover with Rashford for his ideal position, but there is not much stopping the rise of Garnacho. Being almost 20 years his senior, Cristiano has clearly paved the way for Garnacho. Nacho, becoming a sort of mentor in the process for the young star. There is a long way to go, and it must help to have his number on his phone for any advice, but Garnacho has all the tools to get well on his way to chasing Ronaldo's goal-scoring prowess. That's all we have for you today. Do you think Alejandro Garnacho can continue his ascent and become the star he is teasing himself to be? Will Manchester United be able to develop him, or will he be another wasted talent? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't miss out. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe and ring the notification bell to see more when they drop. Check out our other videos on football stars past and present here. Catch you later, and see you on the pitch.